Welcome to the session. I'm going to start off with a question. Do you have in your organization a data warehouse? Well, if you answered yes, um, I need to tell you that the majority of all of you who answered yes, in fact, don't have a warehouse. You have an ODS. Now, this is partially semantics uh, because what do we mean by an ODS and what do we mean by a data warehouse? But in fact, what's happened today is that if we define warehousing in the way that we define warehousing typically, most people generally refer to their solutions as a warehouse, but in fact, it is really some form of operational data store. Now, again, semantics is one question. The real reason we want to get into this discussion is why is it important to know what I have? And I think it is important to know what you have so that you can decide if I have one, do I need the other? Is it important and compelling to have the thing that I don't have? So in this session, we're going to talk a little bit more about that. Now, if you go from the perspective of looking at, say, source systems over to data marts, uh, there's a lot of different ways we can do it. If you go directly from one source system, like say, for example, even an instance of SAP, and you produce a mart, you're really doing kind of a uh, reporting function. It could also be analytics, but it's, it's a source system reporting or analytics function. Okay, so there's no warehousing and in fact no ODS involved in this, in this uh, situation. If you go into the next level, we're saying I'm going to take data from more than one source system and create a MART. Now in this case you're doing integrated reporting. We're integrating data from more than one system. Now let's just stop for a moment and think about this. In my prior example we said SAP single instance and I have this report that could be deemed as an ODS or a warehouse. Keep in mind, there's no integration happening there. It's all coming from a single source. In this case here, we actually have multiple sources being combined to form a report, which again, integrated reporting, analytical applications that are able to deal with pulling data from more than one place, and potentially opera marks, things that are more operationally oriented, but have an integration component to them, right? The next level is how we started this conversation, is an ODS, an operational data store. Now, an operational data store does a few interesting things. It does integrate data, and it may persist data. Now, persist means keep it to some degree over time. We store it. We don't just produce the report and throw it away. We, we manage it to some degree. But it's typically current valued, meaning there's not history involved, or even if you're thinking about this in your case, there could be limited history, right? But it's, it's not a, a, an all-inclusive historical data store. And it's being used for marts and opera marts. So it's producing uh, uh, marts and opera marts. Now, if you think about it from, from just a, uh, a quick perspective here, the key thing here that's happening is that I'm integrating data from multiple sources and I'm placing it into a persisted layer that is going to be stored there for some period of time. From that intermediate storage point, it can now feed multiple different marts. So the big benefit here is to integrate data one time into an ODS and push it to multiple different marts for different requirements, right? So an ODS has a uh, integration and, uh, and delivery uh, kind of component to it, but keep in mind it is pretty much current valued. Now let's consider that and look at the data warehouse itself, right? If I have a data warehouse, an enterprise data warehouse, I'm now integrated and persisted, but I'm also historized. That is to say, now I'm going to keep time slice history of everything that happened. What this means is when a change comes in from an operational system that feeds this warehouse, I don't delete or update that record. I insert a new record keep that time slice and start gathering a history of my data. That's a core component of a data warehouse to do that. The data warehouse also is auditable. It needs to be able to say, hey, based on the thing I gave you two and a half years ago, uh, tell me what came in that feed. Well, I, I should know that. I should have that information because I took it, stored it, persisted it, time sliced it. I'm not doing any updates. I'm not doing any deletes. I have that auditable information for you. It's also a common layer supporting multiple data marts. So let's take one other tack for this, right? The Bill Emmons uh, original definition for warehousing. 
uh, integrated, non-volatile, time-variant, subject-oriented data. Uh, is this true here? Of course it is. It's, it's integrated, it's time-variant, meaning we have multiple time slices of history. It's uh, non-volatile because it's not being deleted, it's not being updated, it's persisted over time. And it's integrated around a subject area, or in this case, uh, subject-oriented, or it's uh, business key-based. So that's a big differentiator with, with the warehouse itself. So to sum this up, if we look at this in one view here now for just, for just a moment, uh, you can see that on the top of this line here, an ODS has potentially a partial scope, right? It's not necessarily an enterprise-wide. It could be partial scope. It's integrated data, but it's current valued. It's just the current time slice. If a change comes in, it's going to overwrite the prior record, right? It's going, to, it's going to say, hey, the new address for Hans is this. I don't really care what the old address was, right? This is how it works. And it's going to be based now on common business rules. So for example, by applying those common business rules, I lose some form of the auditability that I might have had uh, otherwise if I used a warehouse. And then uh, I have unique business rules that go from there to the data marts. Now, if you look at the blue line below, the first thing that should hit us is historized. I now have a historical record of the data, not updated, not deleted, but inserts for new things. I have an auditable data store. It's enterprise-wide in scope. It has the whole business view in my integration into a data warehouse. And then from there, as part of that architecture, I remain audible, but I also then uh, downstream apply these common business rules. And then when I'm leaving the warehouse, I do the same thing I would do from the ODS, which is to apply those unique uh, March specific business rules going downstream. So if you take a minute to look at this, you can really get, gain an idea of what the differences are. The real core differences are history, enterprise-wide scope, auditability persisted over time. And in order to get to that point, um, I need to, of course, commit to having an enterprise-wide data warehouse. We started off this conversation by saying that most people uh, use the terminology data warehouse, more generic term, even though what they have is an ODS. And I would argue that there's no harm in doing this. That's fine. As long as you are aware of this kind of a view, that you understand what the differences are. If your ODS uh, is running for you and working well, great. But if you find that you have problems because you can't access consistent historical slices, you can't get the data you need from an enterprise view perspective, you can't go back to uh, get an auditable picture of what came before, you can't produce a mark that you produced last month because the data changed. These are all things that now are hints that your ODS might need to move towards an actual data warehouse. And for you, you need to differentiate now what does that mean if you have one, I have a data warehouse, to this thing that you're lacking. You know, maybe it's enterprise data warehouse from your definition. Either way, please consider the differences as you're moving forward so that we don't get lost in uh, misunderstanding what we have or what we need based on semantics. We should really be focusing on just that. What is it we have? What are the things we need? How are they defined? We'll see you in the next session.